السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ردوان الله family welcome back to a brand new episode of the ردوان الله show and I'm your host and financial maximizer Hussein Mahmoud working to help you completely maximize your finances in life in this dunya and in the akhira for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Verily, all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, owner, and sustainer, the one who's worthy of all worship without any associates or intermediaries. And may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Um, inshallah, in today's episode, I wanted to talk about something that is always in the back of my mind, and actually not in the back of my mind, in the forefront of my mind, uh, constantly and 24-7, and, you know, I'm thinking uh, most of us are alike, so I know it's something that's in the forefront of your mind as well, um, so hopefully we can get to talk about it, you know, get a little bit of understanding of it. Um, so we could try to overcome it as best as we possibly can, or most, more, most importantly, utilizing it for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's none other than your financial insecurities. So, you know, your financial insecurities are, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, if you are in a situation where you're, you know, in the early phases of your career, uh, your calling and everything else that you're about to get into and everything else that kind of goes along with that. Um, you'll have a lot of insecurities, uh, financial insecurities, that is. Now, um, you know, what is it? Why is it important? And how can you either use it and or overcome it? Um, is generally what, in a nutshell, what we're going to be talking about here and there and dealing with, you know, a lot of the, the, the thoughts that are roaming in my mind as of right now. So um, I really wanted to take the opportunity and the time to, you know, face my financial insecurities and, you know, trying to, um, you know, overcome them as best as we possibly can. And there's so many uh, financial, financial maximization stories or, you know, dreams or nightmares that I've, I've come across uh, throughout my lifetime, you know, a lot of it, uh, I would say some of it is mine, a lot of it is what I've been hearing around me. Um, and especially, especially when you are building your career and calling, we'll take a quick break for our sponsors of the Radwanullah show. Our first sponsor is Radwanullah.com. Radwanullah.com is an Islamic personal and professional development company based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, serving globally, working to help you completely maximize your finances and life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Visit us at ridwanullah.com for more information. And if you have financial and life maximizing offers or generally would like to sponsor the Ridwanullah show, email us at ridwanullahsolutions at gmail.com. And jazakumullah khair to you for allowing us to share with you the sponsors of the Ridwanullah show. And a special thank you to our sponsors. Jazakumullah khair. Now let's continue with the Ridwanullah show, inshallah. Um, around, uh, in and around and between uh, financial maximization is very, very crucial to understand, you know, your financial insecurities. Um, and for me, you know, choosing the path or it chose me to go into financial maximization path um, and realizing that there's so much and many uh, financial insecurities that I have personally and slowly but surely working on overcoming it to the best of my abilities um, has been quite the challenge, to be honest with you. And, you know, finding the right career and calling and working towards building a business around it in and of itself is challenging enough. 
Now, when you add all of these financial insecurities that you have to identify and overcome uh, is, is definitely, definitely a, a, a great, great deal of challenge. Um, and, and, and on your journey, you're going to feel that. And, you know, for most of us who are still working on becoming a full-time entrepreneur, um, you know, working a full-time job, doing a lot of side hustles, uh, trying to figure out a lot of the, the career and calling stuff that we're all engaged in um, is, is one uh, very, very busy and hectic uh, life that we're living, right? So, um, you know, with all of that, there's a lot of insecurities. Now, what are, what is financial insecurity? It's basically uh, the things that you wish you had together, but you don't quite have it together. Um, especially when you're trying to teach other people how to do it. Um, you know, you, you really should have it together, but since you don't, you feel down and out about yourself and you feel like you're fronting, you're faking, um, and everything else that kind of go along with that. So those are generally your financial insecurities is the things that, um, you know you should have done and you wish you've had, you would have had done um, before you have the opportunity to educate uh, not only yourself but others through uh, is essentially what your financial insecurities are. Now, for me particularly, I have a boatload of financial insecurities, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, and I was trying to figure out a way to uh, let myself and you know that it's okay. You know what I mean? You don't have to have it all figured out and together in order for you to take, you know, the, the leadership role in working towards educating, um, you know, uh, yourself and others. You know what I mean? And um, it's an ongoing battle. You know what I mean? When you're educating others, it's, it's, you know, for me, myself, I see myself as an educator more so and more specifically financial and overall life maximization educator. Um, so, you know, when I, when I look at the financial maximization segment of it, you know, there's so many things that I want to do within that field, in that zone, in that area. But in reality, you know, a lot of my financial insecurities have in a way hindered me um, from, you know, pursuing these goals and dreams. Um, and I realized, you know, the, the, the reality of it is nobody really has it fully together right? You know, there's the people who are beginning, you know, like myself, I'm just a beginner in the grand scheme of things. Um, there's so many things that I want to do, but it's slowly but surely starting to come together through the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, but, you know, there's the beginners, and then there's the uh, people who are somewhere in the middle, and then there's people who are at the top. Um, and, one of the things that I've actually realized is even with the people who are at the top, nobody has it fully figured out and, and together. It's a journey and a process of constantly and never ending improvement and trying to figure it out and how to get it together. So, you know, don't let that aspect of your financial maximization journey stop you from, you know, doing the things that you're passionate about or the things that you wanted to do, but there's things that came in front of it that you have to do in order for you to get to do the other things that you are passionate about. Um, so it's, it's an ongoing battle uh, to, to facing your financial insecurities. Um, I have tons of them, uh, but, you know, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm still pushing for my goals and dreams and continuously working on them. Um, you know, it's not easy coming on camera and talking about things that you're still trying to figure out and get it together. And in addition to that, building a business around that, creating financial maximization offers around that and, you know, trying to earn a living through it because that's what your passion and purpose and dreams in life is is to do that, you know, and, and, and I'm in the initial discovery phase. Hopefully once I get things a little bit figured out and together and setting things uh, right, I'll be able to work on maximizing it to the best of my abilities. But you're gonna deal with a lot of these things, you know what I mean? Don't think that people at the top really have it figured out and all together. It's a constant 
day-to-day battle. It's not a one-time thing, right? I mean, at the end of the day, it, it does get a little bit easier because you, you learn and grow a lot. But at the end of the day, everybody's trying to figure it out and get it together. I personally uh, work for and work with people who are at the top, right? Um, and realizing the reality of that circumstances in that situation, it's a constant and never ending struggle to keep going and keep leveling up. And, you know, with you and your financial insecurities and everything else that you're, you're going against, um, it's going to be a never ending battle. But, you know, within that same token, don't avoid your financial insecurities, right? Don't avoid them. Face them, look at them dead in the face, and let them know that I am not going to quit. I am going to resolve you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now, you could get the best of me here and there. You know, you might win some of the battles, but you're not going to win the war. I promise you. So, and I'm talking to the insecurities, not you. I'm talking the, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of coaching you and, and, and exemplifying how you should be talking to your financial insecurities as well, be the Milahi Ta'ala. Um, and you know, there's, 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 there's so many things that you probably want to do and achieve, but it's a day-to-day thing. It's not, you know, a one-time thing. It's a journey. There's particular step stages and levels and seasons and everything else that you could imagine. So, you know, you really, really have to uh, face your financial insecurities. And I've already mentioned them, but just to kind of enumerate them right now. Um, you know, once you, uh, the, the main reason why you should, you know, work on facing and resolving your financial insecurities is, um, you know, if you keep avoiding it, it becomes this mountain. And this is something that I've had a conversation with one of my close friends about. <clears throat> um, it becomes this mountain. But once you face it and work on resolving it, it becomes the pebble that it actually is. Now, granted that you might have a lot of pebbles, but at the end of the day, it's better to have a lot of pebbles than a lot of mountains, right? So face your financial insecurities and work towards resolving them, just like myself. Um, you know, I, I really had a lot of financial insecurities and doubts and confusions and everything else that went along with that. But I'm slowly but surely working on resolving that to the best of my abilities and working on building a business around it and investments around it uh, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's an ongoing battle. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why you should do it. The other reason is, you know, life is too short to have financial insecurities and keeping them, right? Identify them slowly but surely, resolve them to the best of your abilities. There's a minimum five to 10 financial insecurities that I personally have that I'm not willing to share right now, but hopefully in the future, once I, uh, you know, face them to the best of my abilities, uh, I'll be able to share that with you, Bidin Allah Ta'ala. So um, the other thing is, you know, it's, it's your, your financial insecurities in reality is standing between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and what I mean by that is that essentially the, the, the financial insecurities is taking up so much of the capacity and capabilities of your mind um, and life that, you know, it's hard for you to focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's hard for you to have the, the contentment and ease of mind and body and soul and reality to really pay attention to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is, the, the, you know, the financial insecurities have, you know, in a way taken over your life. You really can't, you know, resolve it and you can't really, you know, work towards pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, another reason why, you know, there's so many reasons, but let me put this in a nutshell. It's, it's, the other reason is it's, be, it's, it's actually in between you and your, the best of your relationships. Now, your relationships could be good or bad or in between or somewhere, you know, you're, you're, you're improving it to the best of your abilities. But your financial insecurities are causing a lot of problems and challenges in your relationships. 
you know, you're, you're, you're not talking about the hard things in your relationships. You're not addressing the things that you have to address so that you can move on and not have to address them anymore. So, you know, your, your relationships is impacted, your health, your financial insecurities are impacting your health, right? The things that you've already achieved, the things that you're grateful for, it doesn't really have a negative impact on your relationships, health, and all of these different aspects of your life, right? But at the end of the day, um, your financial insecurities is standing in between you and your potential you and the best that you could actually be. And sadly, not too many people are encouraging us to maximize our finances, but most importantly, within the boundaries, rules, and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of my friends was asking me, what is the difference between your business and other things? What, what, what sets your business apart? And for me, with my financial maximization business, um, you know, I, I really, number one, encourage people to maximize their finances. Not only that, but most importantly, within the boundaries, rules, and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For me, uh, I, I see too often, more, than, more often than not, there's Muslims who are building their finances, halal finances, through haram means and ways which actually makes it haram, right? So, you know, that's a part of my passion is to really put it out there and educate and inform and inspire and motivate to the best of my ability so we can, finance, we can maximize our finances within the boundaries, rules, and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's crucial for you to really take care of your financial insecurities so you can continuously work on them to the best of your abilities. And you can overcome them. Um, you know, for me, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, and I'm hoping for you as well, that, you know, financially, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I've come a really, really long way. Um, and within that same token, I really have a long way to go. Uh, but I'm trying to have a positive mindset instead of a negative mindset to the best of my abilities. And, you know, enjoying the journey, you know, financial maximization is not a destination, it's a journey. It's a constant and never ending uh, journey. Um, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, obviously there will be an end um, and then there will be the everlasting life. But we're trying to make sure that our finances are not a means of getting us into hell. Uh, billah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from it. But a means of getting to Jannah by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, there are some individuals who their financial maximization journey and method and, me method and means will become a reason why they enter jah Jahannam, hellfire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that. And there are a group of individuals who their financial maximization journey and processes and procedures <clears throat> by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will become a means of them entering Jannah. And, you know, that's, that's, that, that's the depth, the deepest part of my endeavors, honestly, is to utilize my financial maximization journey and, and reality to get to Jannah. You know, that's the ultimate aim. That's the ultimate aim. Um, and, you know, through, through the, 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 the Radwanullah show, uh, the university, the conference, and uh, the, the retreats, as well as, um, you know, the, the sponsorships, um, the, the media and sponsorship, um, I hope, uh, becomes a means of us getting to that level and getting to that reality and becoming uh, those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessed to achieve the highest level of Jannah and getting to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I could easily become overwhelmingly emotional thinking about that. Um, uh, that's why, you know, to the best of my abilities, I avoid it professionally so I could do it personally, but sometimes it gets to me um, because, you know, I realized, you know, money, money, money is something, right? Money is a tool. But at the end of the day, in the grand scheme of things, we're trying to use money to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're trying to use money to have a peace of mind. We're trying to use money to take care of our responsibilities to the best of our abilities. So a major part of that journey is to facing is, is to face your financial insecurities. And I hope that 
you will face your financial insecurities on this financial maximization journey. Um, and I hope that, you know, you show your love and support to those who are already showing their love and support. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. I appreciate you subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing with your family and friends and engaging with me. It really means a lot to me to see so many individuals, you know, actually very minimal small amount of individuals in so many different parts of the world reaching out to me, um, you know, talking to me about their financial maximization journey, as well as their overall life maximization journey. Um, and, you know, I, I really, really appreciate that. If you haven't done so yet, please do so. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you guys. Um, and let me know which ways we can improve in serving you, uh, which ways that we could better ourselves. And we'll take a quick break for our sponsors of the Ridwanullah show. Our first sponsor is Ridwanullah.com. Ridwanullah.com is an Islamic personal and professional development company based out of Salt Lake City, Utah, serving globally, working to help you completely maximize your finances and life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Visit us at ridwanullah.com for more information. And if you have financial and life maximizing offers or generally would like to sponsor the Ridwanullah show, email us at ridwanullahsolutions at gmail.com. And jazakumullah khair to you for allowing us to share with you the sponsors of the Ridwanullah show. And a special thank you to our sponsors. Jazakumullahu khair. Now let's continue with the Ridwanullah show, inshallah. I know there's a lot of different areas that I really, really have to improve on. Uh, but, you know, the, 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 it's a day-by-day -day thing for me. I like to take it a step at a time. Um, figure things out. Uh, you know, before I focus on the external matters, I like to focus on the internal matters um, and get some things right. Uh, but I realized that I really have to focus on the external matters as well uh, and, and, and build on from there. But, you know, the internal substance is really a big deal for me. So, you know, stick with me, be patient and allow me to learn and grow along with you. Uh, so face your financial insecurities um, you know, there's a lot of ways you can do it. Um, some of the ways that I do is I, I, I never hide away from it, number one. Number two, I keep it in the back of my mind, you know, address a lot of it as much as I can. Um, and some things I shelf, right? Some things are just a little bit too heavy for me to carry at this particular moment. Like even talking about addressing your financial insecurities through the show was a major, major thing for me. Um, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I, I really realized that I got to put it out there so that you could benefit from it as well as, as I'm benefiting from it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so, you know, taking the time, learning about it, understanding what financial insecurities are and how to overcome it to the best of your abilities, bi'idhinillah ta'ala. Another thing is talking about it, right? Obviously talking about it uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as well as trying to understand it through the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, addressing it within yourself, stop avoiding it, face, face your financial insecurities and work on resolving it. Um, you know, if you're, if you are married um, and you have a spouse, talk to your spouse about it. You know, obviously, and extend this conversation to your parents and others, uh, business partners, uh, customers, teams, um, um and world, right? And everybody else, however they break down, talk about it. Be let it become a normal part of the conversation. Be the ilaha ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow you to face and resolve your financial insecurities. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, con to continue to allow me to do the same and better and to help you do the same, if not better as well, bi-idhinillahi um, ta'ala. That's pretty much it. Jazakumullah khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning in to a brand new episode of the Ridwanullah show. And I'm your host and, and financial maximizer, 
Hussein Mahmoud checking out by saying, never ever give up on completely maximizing your finances in life, in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.